it's a podcast, not a cast pod. Hey, Frazier, every day she'll make you say, oh my god, she's got the scoop on pop culture news. So grab a drink and what you think? It's Sarah and the crew! Crew, we are oh. here. Oh. Day before Thanksgiving, match. Day before. What are you making, by the way? Because people probably know this. Maybe they mm-hmm. don't know this about you as they're discovering yeah. the podcast. Right. So you are a cheese board aficionado. Like you... Yes. Self-proclaimed um, extraordinaire of the cheeses, of the charcuterie. But you are super talented because where was I recently where someone was asking me something about... I don't know. Maybe it was our home studio, like who designed it. And I was like, oh, it's all AJ. You're very talented. It's very sweet of them. That people may not know this. Like on top of being a comedian... <laughs> Cheese born aficionado, um, home decor. Decorator, yeah, I have a lot of um, of interests and passions, and um, I've really just gone out in life and just said, "Hey, whatever sticks, whatever gives me <laughs> checks." But yeah, I, I can decorate a home studio. I could style you. Yeah, I can I, build a cheese board. <laughs> yes, I've got an eye. I don't know what kind of eye, but uh, I have a little bit of an eye. But no, yeah. it's a really good one. Oh well, thanks. Um, so for yeah, Thanksgiving, I'm just in charge of all of the um, aperitifs. You know, the befores we oh, eat, I love it. the cheese boards. Yes, the little snacks. The snake of snacks. Now, what are you guys doing? Because we, on our family, every year have the debate because, you know, Thanksgiving is my least favorite holiday. Is it? Yeah, I I just, I'm not that into it because our family is over turkey. Like, we are over turkey. We're done. We're maybe going to do like a crown roast or something like that or pork roast. A crown roast. A crown roast. Okay, now, yeah, pork roast could be really good and pork chops. Yeah, you don't have to stick to turkey. Nobody likes turkey. And, you know, Dan is a vegan, so he's doing a tofuti. So he's oh, doing his own. <laughs> you're 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 lying. It's funny because he's not actually vegan for health reasons. He just chose to eat shit food for the rest of his life. Yeah, yeah. No, he like literally like when I met him, he was at CC's. He hadn't bought like a new outfit in ten years. Right. And now he is a complete. I mean, he shops at John Varvatos, the most expensive men's store, and like only eats microgreens. It's the uh, like I said to him this like complete yeah, one eighty the other day when we were going out. I know. Yeah. I'm like. Seriously, if there was an award show for like like women that that have the best come up of men, right, right. I need to enter. Wait, th- why don't they have it from like drib to drab or like from drab to fab? Maybe we should start it. Maybe we should do our own we should awards pitch. and host them. We and- do this every time. We're like, this is a new show, everyone. Let's pitch. New show from Wait, drab that's- to drip drip. Like- <laughs> No, drive to fab. Oh, like, it's drive to fab. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, with host Sarah and Age. And then we just like have all the men come on. We should do our own Hey Frazier ones. We should do it at a bar. Right. Like we could just yes. do it at a bar and like people could nominate like, do you have a better come up than Schman? Because I will post, we need the picture of Schman back oh. in the soccer days in 2000s. <gasps> okay, one, one, oh. not the same person. Two, the come up, it was like the hair, the weight, like, I, I don't know. He became a different man. He does not look the same. It is, th- it's two different people. I actually, I think we should do this and we can, we could get it down to like 10 people. Yeah. They could parade their guys out. Right. They could, they'd have to answer a series of questions and then Beforehand. like audience vote. Yes. Like audience vote for the best come up. So what we would have them do, maybe the couples can come up and you, it would be, would it only be men that have the come ups? <sighs> I kind of think we should start there because like women, I don't know, women, you know, you're always, most women are like always ever changing and like you're always trying to reinvent yourself. You're always trying to reinvent yourself. You're like usually doing something good for yourself. Right, right. We have a lot of fabulous, stylish, like great women. We do, 100%. Our listeners are so stylish. Yeah. I know. So maybe we should do just the men and focus on, because we could always make it like an annual awards after. You know, and then we could do like women. That's true. We could do best like, you know, self-care transformation. Oh my god, I'm loving this. Okay, so we yeah, should, and we have a big so projector. it's so easy to pull off. It's like we could just do it at any bar. Yes, right, like we right. We know a million bar people. Yeah, we need a bunch of photos behind them. We won't even have them out. We'll have a projector behind them being like, this This is him. He likes... Today. And then you have him come out and you show him like, today he is this. He's gotten a better job. He has more money. He likes to shop here. And then we just like, yeah, have him do a little, like, a little show and then we vote. And then we ask him questions about like, you know. How the come up happened. How the come up happened and also like what he does for self-care or like, you know, we just ask him some old school like metrosexual questions (laughs) about like grooming. Jonathan Van Ness him. Yeah. So, (laughs) honey, like what does your beauty regimen look like right now? Because right now you're giving me like Jesus vibes. You're giving me so amazing. Like you really are grooming yourself. Like I love you. 
And they're like, I don't do a fucking thing. I probably wash my face once a month. Honey. Yes, I'm seeing it right now. Right? And yeah. then we could do like whoever has like the best sort of um, routine. Like already down. I love down. it. Yes. Yeah, like, yeah. Schman's in there using grooming lounge products. I'm noticing. He has like a groom Heels. kit. Yeah, of course he does. Heels. Yeah. Wow. And he does a ton of like shaving and maintenance. Which is I funny because you don't do a damn thing. You give me all your beauty products. You're like, please have this. I don't even like this. This dry shampoo doesn't work for me. I'm like, okay. I'm the one that Jonathan Van is. Honey, what are you doing? <laughs> well, dove soap. Honey, hunty. Ooh, hunty. Dove soap drives you out. You don't want to be dry. You don't need to shovel that bitch. Oh, all right. Well, sorry. <laughs> he would rip you to shreds. My husband is like way, he is, is having a, a much bigger like come up. Okay, so anyways, we just created a show. So once it gets signed and contracted and everything picked well, up. Well, we're going to shoot the pilot literally. At, we could do it at Gringo's and Mariachi's. We could yes. do it at like Don Tito. We could do it at a million locations like in D.C. Who uh, else do we know? Don't oh we God. have, don't no, you just know saying, like a bar owner? I feel if like. If you had only seen, did you see the owner of Gringo's and Mariachi's? Because that was the most <laughs> groomed up man I've ever seen in my entire life. I literally almost dropped my pants. I did. I was like. A whole ball and sack. I wonder if he should be injured. I wonder if he ever looked different. He was smoking it. hot. Oh yeah. my. And when he we, was married. And his wife goes to Karma, Erwin Gomez, which is in Park Potomac. And she like does her whole like glam up there. And I was just like, damn, like I bet she's really hot. But like if you ever um, get divorced, hit me up. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> but he was so groomed, so perfect. He was almost too manicured, too pretty boy. But he was absurdly good looking he really was we were at park potomac the other week you guys probably saw on our story and when we were there and we did the erwin gomez event which was a client appreciation event gringos and mariachis the owner like catered it and he was he, real he, fan. He is a restaurant owner, like of multiple restaurants. He's very oh, well established. Well, then, well, great. We'll, we'll yeah. approach him. Three different restaurants, and he doesn't even have social media because we were like, "What's your social what? media?" He's like, "No, I, I don't. I don't do that stuff. I just I'm very in my business." I was like, "Get in my business, okay?" <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, grr, oh, grr. oh. My God. All right. Yeah. Well, I think this will be great. We'll shoot the pilot there. This is amazing. Yes. And they have a perfect location for it. So anyways, I'm getting very excited about it. Okay. I have all week. Well, guess you're not going back to New York <laughs> anytime soon. <laughs> I always say. I'm like, December 1st, I'm out. I'm deuces, DC. She's always like, goodbye. Goodbye, DC. She's like, syrup. I am done. December 1st, don't call me. I'm like, okay, no problem. And then you're like, you know what? I'll be in town all week. You need any? <laughs> Are you in town? I do want to thank some of our sponsors. We're getting into the holiday season absolutely love them um this is really cool and especially obviously we've had a lot of conversations about getting pregnant but fibroids are a huge issue for women never even knew fibroid like i'm finding out so much insane things about getting pregnant uh never knew that you could have like a triploidy never knew that like two sperm fertilized one egg bananas um fibroids though can be an issue for you if you are trying to get pregnant also if you have heavy periods lots of cramping and you have for years you actually may have fibroids instead of um ovarian cysts which a lot of people think that they have so if you or someone you know has been diagnosed with fibroids, it's very, very important that you understand all of your fibroid treatment options. The problem is over the years, a lot of women, young women too, have been given hysterectomies or other treatments that were not necessary. Dr. Will Neem, who we love, is the fibroid expert at Horizon Fibroids, and he walks each patient through all of your options in a consultation at one of their three convenient locations. In Rockville, Germantown, and Frederick, Horizon Fibroids.com is the website. You can also schedule your consultation today at 301 762 Two seven seven. His website again is horizonfibroids.com. Now look, they are completely covered by insurance. So call them. Um, you know, your insurance will cover it, but make sure you do that. Lots of your OBGYNs don't test, don't know for fibroids. They aren't specialized in it. So we're really thrilled to be working with Dr. Will. Um, he's a great doctor. He's like super young. We're just, we like their whole practice. So definitely check them out. Uh, Mary is awesome from Total Dental Care MD. You know, she's a full dental service. You probably saw the video that we did on Paris periodontal surgery, which I just had with gum recession. Make your appointment today. She's still offering $99 specials. She has for one solid year because she loves the Hey Fresh listeners so much. $99 gets you a complete cleaning, bite wings, x-rays, the whole nine yards. She also takes all form of dental insurance. You could check her out. Go to TotalDentalCareMD.com. Check out Dr. Mary. Um, FabFitFun. We were just checking out our FabFitFun box for winter. <gasps> Amazing. They're Fab so Fit awesome. FabFitFun. FabFitFun. 
Uh, the box is filled with goodies, over $200 worth of goodies, but you get it for a fraction of the price, for $49.99. And you get $10 off, of course, when you use our promo code HeyFrage. Uh, so definitely go and get HeyFrage discount today, $10 off your FabFitFun. The winter box is really cute. I've seen a lot of influencers with it, too. Um, of course. Of course. Ours had slippers in it. It had, um, yeah, wait, hold, hold my mic. I'll hold your mics. Mic. I'm used to double fisting. Yeah. <laughs> That's a drinking reference. Okay. Fat Fit Fun Box. Fat Fit Fun. You guys, we're so influencer right now. Wait, does Poosh have a box, by the way? Does she have Poosh a box? Poosh does yet? not have a box. Oh, but really? I feel like she's going to be doing that so soon. Okay, um, I'm excited about this. Frank's. <gasps> okay. Do you want me to read each one? Are you yeah, read, you, yeah, you we read We have it. Frank Body. Guess what? You'll be naked in one minute. Because we have an original coffee scrub. I'm dying to try this. The makeup eraser. The original makeup er- eraser. Now, I had one. I you used the knockoff. It. It, that must be why. I bought it on Amazon. By the way, I have like so many complaints about Amazon. Like I need to discuss with you. D- really? Yeah. Like I, the clothing I feel like is so cheap. Oh, and like well, how am I going to shop this holiday season? Well, it's always so hard to shop um, like online for clothes and stuff, but they do have so many things that are useful. I have to say, um, the original pink makeup eraser. All you need is water. Oh my God, so cute. A little adore um, necklace. Oh, I love these. You can like stack these up. These are super cute. I like this pudding palette. Uh, it's an eyeshadow palette, so it probably has a lot of neutral colors. I mean, these are like so cute. Look at this. Look at these little slippers. I mean, we need these. Yeah, Look I've seen yours. You got them ratty like, ass slippers. I got my ratty ass old Ugg slippers that are 10 years old. Uh, anyway, use code HeyFrage. Use the code HeyFrage. You get $10 off. This box is like $300 worth of value. I mean, the slippers alone have to be 40 or 50 bucks. Frank's um, body scrub has to be that too. You guys, this proof is in the put in eyeshadow palette. Has the prettiest fall colors. Right? Butterscotch, spice caramel, and chia pudding are all sparkly. And I then know. the almond jelly that you would put. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Well, I know. I'm going to this. This is like the first box I feel like we're going to like fight over because I want all the things too. <laughs> usually Sarah's yeah, usually we do. Usually Sarah's like take it all. I, get I have no room. So many products. Exactly. Which I love. I'm very, very grateful for listeners. Give me tons of products. Our customers do. Our clients do. So normally I'm like, OK, you know, Fab Fit Fun Box, like you take it. But this time now I'm like, mm, girl, I want to try this makeup eraser. And a coffee scrub, because you guys know I have like three cold brews a day. So now I can put it on my body, too. X, oh my God, you'll be well caffeinated. My, <laughs> yeah, my makeup eraser, the knockoff one, just looked like I wiped my ass with it. It was just awful. <laughs> it was the worst. It was the worst. Yeah, I like, used to see it hanging up on your, uh, you would like disgusting. leave it. You, you it would never leave got it. clean. It was not. Yeah, yeah, Ugh. yeah. No, that, that was not cute. Not cute at all. Um, okay, so that your Thanksgiving plans, you're having Thanksgiving with your family. I'm actually going to be in Maine. Um, yeah, going back to going so, back to the fam. Yes, I'm going to try to get some audio clips from Mama Fraser and crew because everybody Please. loves them. You know, the Dome business you is... Should, you guys should all sleep in the Dome. Do a podcast from the Dome. Have it be a special episode. I need to because my brother is actually winterizing them. So they're snow globes. So That's you so can cool. go and sleep in the snow globe. Yeah. So I really want to with Schman, like get Schman out there under the stars. Because, you know, Schman Have a special up, guest. I know. Which is Schman in the snow globe. I mean, that would be epic because Schman literally grew up like in a basement with Atari like strapped to him. And I mean, he was a complete <laughs> nerd. Like, I don't think he ever went outside. Like Schman never like did hockey or But ski. he seems like a super outdoorsy guy and he teaches soccer, which is a sport. So it's not like he's like an inside homebody kind of guy. I mean, I'd say he's like out. He loves like outdoor turf, but like I'm not sure. Like, he goes running all the time. You guys should oh, go hiking or some type of. Uh, yeah, we usually do that. Oh, yeah, we're going to do something. A what? Okay, yeah, definitely do the do the podcast. I mean, we've got a tofuti roll to make. That's disgusting. We're doing the crown roast. I'll keep you posted. Yeah, we're not. Does doing... anybody in your family cook, or like you just willingly accept um, eating well, tofu? My mom's with Carol. She doesn't want to cook anymore. She okay. wants to drink wine, yes. and then she kind of waits till six o'clock, and she's like, "Oh, is anybody gonna? Uh, uh, you guys getting hungry?" And then like my brother usually has to do it. <laughs> I did see Sethy hard at work over there. He was like making omelets. You're like, "Oh wow, omelets actually looked really good." Yeah, he made like some sort of stuffed French toast. Yeah, poor Seth. Ooh. Seth has become the chef because my mom. <laughs> is like over it she's like <laughs> he's, he's taken over all household duties yeah, she's 70 years old she's done with all that i am blessed and not stressed because my brother is a culinary genius he just loves oh. cooking and so he makes a um a cooked like a barbecued turkey almost and he puts a rub that he spends oh. a lot of time making so anyway we're very blessed in that department and then you know we make like paella we make all these different types of food and so um i just eat okay so uh, i set up the charcuterie and then i just sit drink and eat so that's my thanksgiving that sounds so delicious mm-hmm. and then for christmas i'm just 
we're not doing anything. It's just my mom, dad, and me. And we're going to volunteer at a homeless shelter and just give out gifts. I've decided. Oh, that's a great idea. Because I know you, you don't decided. need anything. It's like. Yes. And my brother, he's now married. So he goes to spend it with her family. And so and then my mom is just depressed because like the house is empty. And uh, so now this year I'm like, we're no, we are volunteering and someone else is going to get all the joys. That's so funny because this Christmas is the first Christmas I'm actually going to dance family and staying like Christmas. With Christmas e- yeah, Day. Yeah, Christmas Day. Which I I don't think wow. I've. I, this is the first time. I mean. Yeah, in like 30 something years, I've never been what? away. I know. What? I know. Ever from my That's family. That's crazy. I know. It is interesting. Like, but then I'm like, when you're married, what do you do? Like, what? Because every year before, yeah. we've just gone like separate ways because we weren't married. That's so true. So yes. And now I, this is the first married yeah. year. So we're going every other holiday, every on and off. But what do you think? Now I'm like, I kind of just want to like, go to Maine. Well, yeah, just because it's like tradition. I'm like, I oh know. my god, change is scary when it comes to family traditions. Like, I don't like to change stuff. So, well, I'm trying to be a little less addicted to them. Like, I go back every right. two months to see my family. That's so healthy, we, though. You don't live anywhere near them, so it's nice. to Okay, we're different than people. Like, people don't talk to them for their families for like months on end. I know. I know. Must how? be amazing. I know. Like, how do you go like two or three months without speaking to your parents? I have like, no just idea. Just by email. That's crazy. I to have me. no. Mom, my mom's calling me up three times a day. I live with her. I'm like, hey, I'll see, I'll see you in two hours. She calls all the time. It's so funny. Oh, my God. Yeah. When we went to Area 51, <laughs> Lord God, she was checking in with us uh, on the highway before Vegas, Vegas, post Vegas. Uh, it was like, Carol, Carol, Carol we got to let you go mostly because we got to pay this toll. We, like, we, we're trying to figure out where we are. Like, what Carol me is sometimes you know your parents need friends when they update you if like the pear is ripe. She's like, oh, my God, I just opened this pear. It's beautiful. I'm like. Okay, info we didn't need to know. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why are you up? It's so cute, though, because I'm going to miss it when, like, you know. I oh walked the dog. Her poop was normal. Fantastic <laughs> news. Awesome. Tell dad. <laughs> I don't know. But regardless. Oh, God. Yeah, so we're, yeah. Um, okay, so I want to talk some a couple of stories. You found these, you found two really good stories that I'm yeah. obsessed with. So one is like the, the holidays can always be about politics, right? They of can be, course. Can, you know, very stressful for people. Right. Did your family ever get into it politically? Um, sometimes, but mostly no. We know to not just no. We're we're over the politic talk. We're from DC, yeah, so me too. I know. we're I'm just still not about over it. the political stuff. Yes, we want to just eat, talk, laugh. No, no. Our family's pretty good. I don't know. We do have some clashes. For do sure. you? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. We have some real. I mean, we've got like a million gay people in our family, and then some oh, yeah. hardcore conservatives. I oh, mean, that can be okay. Yeah, oh, that can it be hard. Is like, I mean, you've got you know, you've got major Trump fans like spray painting the side of their house like uh, vote for Trump, okay. and then you've got some real gays. Like it is, it is one crazy family that's why sometimes it's good to have alcohol but other times alcohol can make everyone just like talk their feelings which is not always a good thing they've gotten i'd say much more like respectable and civil over the years i think they just don't discuss they're yeah. like okay we know what everyone's dealing we know what with everyone's here. thinking yeah we know what everyone's <laughs> thinking yeah well uno they're trying to become relevant again i guess you gonna the game uno, I love uno a lot of times when your family come together you play games and board games so now uno has made a non-partisan pack which is available now Epic. Basically just means they've taken away the red and the blue cards to have anybody thinking about politics. I guess the red and the blue. So now the pack of the of the Uno cards is purple. A mix of the red and the blue to show unity. Okay, love it. And there's also a veto card. So when anybody is talking about politics, you veto their ass. And then you draw four. <laughs> And that's what you do. And then you draw four. And then you draw four. I, are you a family? Do you stack the Uno cards or you don't? Like sometimes, you know, you can put double draw fours down. So it's actually draw eight. Yes, we do the double you draw do? eight. Yeah, I we do. I knew it. I'm yeah. with you. How'd you know that? No, because like fun people like will do the double. Oh, hell and yeah. And then sometimes, the, you know, the rules, yeah. the, the, the people that are like... Please sticks up their butts like you can only put like one card down and my I'm 13 like, year old niece it. now you're gonna eat cards put- <laughs> yeah absolutely and she like hates it she's a big That's- monopoly we have to play monopoly and it oh, yeah, yeah. always ends in a fight of course yes someone goes broke yes and my mom steals it's like the <laughs> Your worst mom, I can see her. <laughs> oh my oh, god no, no i have this uh, uh, five hundred dollars under here yeah mom how do you have that well no that's how i lost my first boyfriend my mom and my first boyfriend fought fight- over monopoly, monopoly yes and my mom like thought he was like a really poor like loser and thought that he was way too serious she probably was like well Sarah I did you a favor you're welcome yes she did she did she literally did yeah and that's how it ended what yeah for real for real it was like crazy what a way to end a relationship (laughs) you and your family and this monopoly game and he game. was like your mom's a cheater and he's <laughs> please <laughs> oh 
my god i would have been like get out of our house right now <laughs> if you're getting mad about <laughs> I was like, monopoly All right, well i guess uh does this mean we're still gonna drive around in your <laughs> truck because i don't have a license like what what's you're the deal like <laughs> for the license <laughs> Because I don't really like, I really enjoy how you pick me up for school and I don't have to take the bus at 15. So, are you like, what's going on? Yeah, so that was it. Can you still do carpool with me? Thanks. Yeah, they were like in a serious fight. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, well, hit up uh, your local retailer and pick up a nonpartisan pack so you avoid like breaking up with your significant other. Where's Schmigs going? Like, I, I also find it interesting on the holidays because yeah. a lot of times, you know, every holiday is like the first holiday for couples where they're like bringing, oh, yeah, yeah. introducing them to right. the family, like right. having a holiday together. What, what is Schmigs doing? Is he going home? He has a massive Thanksgiving and Christmas. They are, I mean, the, they have been preparing probably for like two months. Schmigs has, there's four brothers, all four boys, and one is getting married, actually just got married past weekend. Um, he's 21 and his now wife is 20. So he just, he had been away for like army training for a really long time. So this is a huge family like reunion for them. Oh. So yeah, they're blessed. Like they have so much fun. Schmigs will be, he'll FaceTime me on Christmas morning. He's like, I got this and this and this. And his parents still like, they treat Christmas like presents and everything. Even though their kids are like 25 years old. Right, of course. But it's such that's an amazing, amazing that's me. what I want to have for my family. And it's not my mom's fault at all, but she was always a gift giver and she can't see right now. And so it's very hard for her to go shopping like she used to because she was, she's such a good gift giver. And, but now it's just been so hard with her, her sight problems. So, so she may as well be FaceTiming me and he's just like, and I got this and this and this. And I'm just like, ugh, like crying on the couch, like <laughs> fuck you. And you're like, happy family. And my mom's like upstairs crying like the christmas is ruined anyway um we're well, still in high great. spirit it sounds <laughs> it's so schmigs no schmigs goes back up he's from corning and just has a huge family the mom cooks for like five hours and they have this huge feast and they have like lobster and steak and chicken and they have i mean wow. it's like an These italian go all feast. out my god we do they nothing go all out. like yeah, everyone guys- <laughs> like dreads all it's like oh, who's gonna cook like nobody i mean honestly like my aunt and uncle yeah. are doing pizza and like yeah. we were tempted and you were like hmm like chinese if only there was good chinese in maine that didn't give you serious diarrhea like like that would be perfect you're right small town yeah you're not getting the good chinese yes no, no. There's one Chinese place called Sun Sun, and it never looks open. Yeah, we'll we'll hit, we'll hit up a couple dim sum places in in DC after Thanksgiving. But yeah, I don't know. It's just so big a hype that like I, I, yeah. it doesn't live up to the hype. I get upset, and so that's why I'm gonna be rich, and everyone's coming to my house. All right, for sounds the gonna be. I don't want to cook. I'll I don't invite cook. you. Please, well, it's gonna I'm be catering the whole fam. Um, well, this was interesting <laughs> because ten mistakes to avoid in a new romance. So people who are bringing home their significant others for the first time, I want to see if you did any of these. Oh my god, because you guys, I've been together with Dan almost what, seven years? years. Seven years going on seven years. Isn't that insane? Insane. I Does know. it feel I like that? Long? I'm still like madly in love with him more than ever before. I think sometimes love grows because I've love grown. Love grows. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, my God. First, I, you're infatuated, and then you lose it, and then you hate them, and then you love them again. I know. I'm so in love with them. I told them, like, if I could crawl inside him, I would live there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't even know what that even means. <laughs> I physically don't even know what that means. I would. I would. Because he's like so like he's clean like and like anal and, and not clean. hairy. And he's not hairy. He's not a bit hairy. I would, okay, I'd live inside someone like that. Yeah, and now he's like eats vegan. I mean, everything is functioning like top notch. It's like so like. I would imagine that he'd be farting lentils and it would just be stank, stank, stunk. <laughs> I don't. The oh tofu gosh. and the lentils. I just feel like it'd be. Hmm. hmm. And you both Yo. use organic uh, bodily uh, um, oh, smell oh, oh, products. Yes, always. Yeah, yeah. We only use like so all natural funny. soaps. Yeah. Hashtag plant for life. Plant for life. <laughs> Which Sarah made up. Plant if you're a new life. listener, Sarah made up plant for. Okay, yeah. Test me on this. Okay, we- so 10 mistakes to avoid in a new romance. Coming on too strong. It's good to know what you want from a prospective partner, but to be clear about that. Uh, but it's off-putting to lay everything on the table straight away. What do you do? See, I know so many people now that like don't want to waste time. So they're like, hey, been divorced. Um, yeah. Got three kids. Yeah. Ex husband's a mess. He's mentally like you know um, challenged. It, it, yeah. Uh, did I come on too strong? I will say that I was in a new town and I did come on really strong. I actually gave him my number. Um, and I was very, I'm very bold with people. Like I'll just be like, here's my number, call me. Yeah, I came on really strong. But hey, it worked. Okay. Um, I won't go through all these because some of them are like really obvious, like moving too fast, not learning from past relationships, performing for them was interesting. Everyone's different. Did I perform? Uh, I, I would hope. I, I mean, I'd hope you whipped out some impressions, like wowed him over. 
<laughs> he did know I was on the local news for a murder trial. So the family would see me on the local news being like, at Stupend County Court, we are in day five of the trial. And they would ask me about the about the trial. So that was cool. Can they were impressed anybody by that. watching or listening picture you at a murder trial in any way, shape, or form? I well, cannot. All the heartbreaking reporters were like, um, I'm sorry, how long have you been in this business? Because I used Two to ask. Two minutes. <laughs> what? <laughs> they, they had they nobody just dropped else. Me off. They had nobody else at the station. Okay, I will emphasize small station, okay? And they had no budget. So I was at a local radio station next door. It was owned by the same company. They were like, they knocked on the window. Hey, we have a murder <laughs> trial. Can you report for it? I was like, I don't know the term of a jury. All the, <laughs> the only law. Jar- jargon I know is jury. This seems like this and requires actual I journalism. Yes, of course. Like fact checking. Usually you have to have two sources uh-huh. before you go report. Yes. I asked him. I was like, excuse me, what what does it mean when they say that the they're going to bring a defendant up? Like, is the defendant good or bad? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God. The reporters were like, like, you're sweetie. insane. <laughs> this is like the one that I think got me. Posting too much online. They say that in new relationships, it can feel wonderful to think that you found your soulmate. But a lot of people go online immediately and start posting their their new significant other. Obviously, Schmigs doesn't my, have social. This is my pet peeve. This is my pet peeve. Yeah. But then again, we're in the media. and I don't like to disclose my relationships because then I lose men that think that they can still sleep with me. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to like, I used to abide by that for a long time. Yeah, and I was like, I'm not going to cheat on him and but like I dated so many losers like including you know our former client mm. like that like took me out on a horrible first yes. date so um yeah I just like I, I think I posted Dan like almost immediately like within two or three weeks like hey guys this is my yeah you were over you're finally ready. getting some D <laughs> <laughs> like I was totally yeah I, and, and like anybody normal, I had gone out with the biggest losers of all freaking time. You know, I had come off dating the trainer who could never get hard. He was saving it for next time. That was always his line. Saving it for next time? Yeah, like, right. I'm just going to save it for next time. I'm like, could you do steroids like maybe like a week prior to coming Thanks. here? Yeah. Yes. No, he never, it was really. Damn. Yeah, it was quite the. Okay, I'd be posting a lot too if I, I'd be like ready for this man. I was like, here look he at is. this dude. I mean, he's yeah. got these round funky glasses and he's balding, but this guy has got potential. <laughs> Oh my god! I'll post. I'll post occasionally. I like to make my men like more of a bit. Like I make fun of Schmigs, but it's like a bit. Oh yeah, you know, for the stage. But I mean, Schmigs is kind of easy to exploit. I mean, with he the is. whole painting of do the I? But do I figurines. show him with painting? No, I don't show too much of that. I just <laughs> talk about it on the podcast. Yes, I mean he's like the best is, and she refuses to post this picture. But I really want you to someday. Is the one of you all in bed, like all the animals, uh-huh. and there's just bird shit on the yeah. side. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. I think a child and services would come asleep. in and be like, this is unsafe for even you guys. You don't even have children, but, like, we need to save you from this situation I right now. I just think, like, sleeping next to the bird excrement yes. could be harmful for uh-huh. you guys, but it doesn't seem like you guys were phased. He's not bothered by it. He's like, look, it's dried. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, he's a bit, I gotta say. Just, he's entertainment. Uh, oh, God. Um, he posting is... too much online, that annoys everyone else, so that don't do it. That was the big one. Yeah, that was the, the big last one. Uh, the other person that's getting a lot of attention is, did you guys see the epic gender reveal of the woman who was farting and it, it kind of poofed out blue, <laughs> like, uh, smoke? And basically, this woman is, we've now found her Instagram. It's Paige Jin. So, P A I G E. Uh, G-I-N-N. Can I just say that she is verified and she has 317,000 followers? And all she does is basically fall in public and then she farts like everywhere. And she has a beautiful ass. Like that is how she is famous. So this was like the famous, this was the gender reveal that went viral a couple of weeks ago. (laughs) Okay. Okay. to say i have to say if there's one thing to do to get your in-laws to hate you it's do this oh my god (laughs) then to be followed up with she took seven days later thanks for helping me get this powder out of my bunghole and then she takes a wipe and makes it look like she's just wiped her butt with more blue for another gender reveal are you here for this like this is her other one and she's showing the wipe yeah dude is she five? Wow. She has the uh, the actual maturity of a five-year-old, but I respect her for spending literally no money on the baby reveal. No Dude. money. And she and her girlfriend are the ones that actually planned it out. So they planned it out and they did a YouTube video, which you can watch, and it's Paige Jin. If what? you want to go follow her. Yeah. They did a sit down on, they knew it would go viral. They had the idea and... Um, they did it, and then they answer all these li- gender reveal Q and A behind the scenes. They did know it was good. Yes, okay. So Isn't it's that for amazing? the viral. Yes, and you can you can predict it'll go viral, but 
very rarely does okay, it. Why are we not spending our time coming up? With I love this? it because her girlfriends are like, okay, they're wearing. <laughs> They're the most redneck people. Redneck it's amazing. Ratchet. Her best friend's like, it was my idea, and I put the powder in her asshole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the one blowing the blue powder at my bong hole. Mm-hmm. It's us. <laughs> it's and us. And uh, we went viral. And, and you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> and y'all have had a lot of questions about this viral video, and we're just going to dig into it. We're going to dig came into up it. With this glorious idea. Well, guys, um. I've had this idea for about, you know, couple months. These guys are so redneck. I love it. Anyway, if you want to check out her YouTube page, I do find her oddly uh, interesting to watch. And she basically just farts in front of her husband and, like, records it. For sure entertaining. And the, the pregnancy was fake. It was totally fake. Yeah, yeah, she's not pregnant. They just, like, came up with the idea. The... <laughs> I know. Isn't that, um, isn't that like epic? The internet is a wild place, y'all. It's amazing. It's like, I know. Uh, I was saying that I was ranting about Amazon. Amazon is releasing, uh, Black Friday, of course, is coming up. They were releasing some of their deals. They have tons of savings on. If you want the Ring Video Doorbell Pro, you're going to save $70. It's just $179. Fire 7 Kids Edition. So many clothes um, that they're going to be offering. Uh, save up to 50% on men and women's clothing from Amazon brands, including Amazon Essentials, Good Threads, uh, Dave Daily Ritual. This is just like a few. Um, Herschel backpacks, 35% off on Black Friday. Save up to 30% on Calvin Klein undies. Okay. Electronics. You can buy your camera there. Oh, actually, we should buy a camera for the podcast. Um, Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Wouldn't they be considered Cyber Monday? But they still do Black Friday. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, huge savings. So there you go. No, I've just had like weird luck with Amazon and clothing. Well, okay, here's the thing about Amazon and, and any type of online retailer. You've got to read the, the small print. You've got to read if the sizes are correct. If it looks like a moo-moo online, it probably looks like a gigantic tent on yo I've ass. learned that. <laughs> I've learned that. You've got to know like what, like, what actually is going to be a sustainable clothing for you. Yeah, like what's going to work. Right. It's just so cheap sometimes when you get it. You're like, this is not worth $24 and free shipping. No. Last story, you were telling me this, that, that, you know, Kourtney Kardashian for her Poosh website is teaching people how to eat apples. I'm very curious. Like, how are you supposed to eat an apple? Well, it's very funny because if you go to Poosh.com, it's Kourtney's, like, off-brand uh, goop almost. Like, right, right. Control. The goop, like, knockoff. Yes. So, Kourtney thinks she is now a lifestyle, like, brand aficionado. And so, she has this website where she writes funny articles. And it just cracks me up because it's it's tips and tricks for, like, literally no one. How to eat an apple? Why does anyone need that tip? So I decided to read the article because I like wasting my time. (laughs) Well, I want to know, like, if there's a right way to eat an apple. There's literally not. The other crazy thing about it is if you read the actual article, it gives you actually no no tip other than slice it. That's your tip. I'm going to give you the three things that the article mentions, and you're all going to realize it's the same damn thing. Okay. Uh, Truly savor the taste of a deconstructed version of a Waldorf salad. Basically, a Waldorf salad is just a salad that has apples in it. So she says just cube up the apples and put it in a Waldorf salad. Oh, I love a Waldorf salad. Okay. Okay. Yum. Oh, my God. A Waldorf salad is really good. That's literally just telling you. Yes. Butter lettuce. I'm here for a... Yeah. Okay. She... Yes. I love... Okay. Actually, I... I, I, Here it is. Three ways to enjoy sliced apples this fall. Put it in your Waldorf salad. Okay. Uh, Number two, rethinking the cheese board. Okay. Instead of putting cheese on your board, you should also put apples on your board. Oh, people have been doing that forever, for ages, as if this is like a, a, a secret that she no one really knew about. She is the most boring sister. Like, like she's at a loss for just any content. Hey, I'm gonna launch a website, and you know what? Let's just come up with a random shit. Number three: replace unhealthy chips with apple slices. <laughs> okay, bitch, nobody <laughs> wants to do that. No. I love it. So basically, it's just telling you three ways to enjoy sliced apples: eat ap- sliced apples. That's the article, folks. So anyways, if you wanted to waste your time a little bit more, it's uh, it's how to eat sliced apples. And our audience has lost every last brain and- cell. Okay. Got it. Got it. That noise you hear, it's your brain cells dying. Um, oh, Courtney, you gotta love her. Well, girl, we're out of here. Uh, you guys, we love you so much. Have a great Thanksgiving. We'll be back on Monday. Love you. We're so thankful for you. So thank. Oh, my God. Beyond thankful this fall for you guys. Seriously. I mean, could not even get the oomph to get out of bed without you guys and your messages. It is so true. Isn't it? Isn't it, it is amazing? So true. And I'm always, like, so blown away, like, how many people listen. Because, you know, lots of times people listen, and I'm the same way to shows, and you never write to them or, like, like in or explain how much it helps you but when you guys tell us that you actually like really listen to us and you laugh 
and your Ugh. day gets better, that l that makes it so much better. Yeah. It's it so does. good. I'm not joking about this. We are thankful. so thankful for you guys. Oh, wait, we're doing giveaways. What am I doing? Oh my God. Okay. Are still here? Everyone's Give just away. clocked out. Duh. Oh my God. Okay, well. Giveaways. Giveaways. Whoops. Are you still listening? <laughs> All right. Well, we have a ton of shit to go. go play. You know, we'll do this again on Monday too. Uh, long story short, do you remember when we did the Lindsay Lohan? These were AJ's idea. Lindsay Lohan shirts that were like, this is how you throw a party in Mykonos. We're giving away six shirts. All you've got to do is go to iTunes, hit the Hate Fresh podcast, hit five stars. Tell us what you love about the show. Leave a review. Uh, we're giving away Flydelity, these cute retro cassette. So we're going to pick people. Just um, take a screenshot of the review that you leave us. And then, boop, we're going to pick like the first 10 people. And you're just getting a, a gift from our magic gift bag. We have so many giveaways that we've just not done. So we're blowing them out now. Um, I have this really random a dual foot massager. Someone is getting that. We're going to ship them to you. We just want you to write a review. Tell us what you love about the show. Hit five stars on iTunes. Love you guys. Bye, everybody. Bye. Love you. Bye.